But it is time to take on the third gym leader here in whatever region this is. I forgot the name. It is time for another great stream here in the Pokemon Glazed series where every three subscribers I get, I have to spin that wheel. I've got some updates to show you guys. You can see that I grinded everyone to level 35 and we have a few new evolutions like Bagon evolving into Shelgon. And I took the Static Eevee that we got from the Lighthouse and evolved it into a Flareon. Good, you made it. I thought you'd chicken out for sure. Well, I'm Float and I kick butt with Water type. Let's see if you can handle me. Okay, so this girl's pretty cocky, it seems. All right, we just gotta shut her mouth real quick. Starting with her level 31 War Turtle. So we know what her team looks like because we did a little bit of research in the last stream. Hey, there we go. Nice job, Toad. Next, she's gonna go to her Milotic. And I mean, I might as well stay in, right? But Leaf Blade is oh, almost gonna one shot. Wow, that wasn't even a crit. No, it has Ice Beam. No, 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 Congratulations, you played yourself. Uh, ha-ha. All right. I didn't know you would have Ice Beam. Oh, boy, this is bad. That was, um, not planned. Luckily, Ricky can come in to kill this thing, but we still have two more mods to take down, and I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, my gosh. Cedra, you have... Poison point? Let's just go for another wing attack. That will bring you down to red. Surf should not do too much, right? Let's see if we can try and predict her move and resist a surf with Tom Brady. Oh, she's gonna heal. Okay, did a bit more than I thought, but one more Dragon Claw will take you down. It is Kingdra. Jeez, bro, you have a Cedra and Kingdra. What I'm gonna do is just please tell me we land hypnosis. Oh my gosh. We might get sweeped. Okay, we land the Hypnosis. Now I'm gonna go for Teeter Dance, and hopefully it hits itself with a physical move. We're going to honestly just attack. Let's try and get off some kind of damage. It woke up though. No, you get the Outrage off. You couldn't have hit yourself. Oh my gosh, I think we lose. I seriously think we lose the lock. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna lose. Please hit yourself, please hit yourself. Thank you, okay. How much will that do? Not that much at all. And what do you have? Leftovers? Are you kidding? Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna lose. There is literally no chance. And um, that means the lock is over. So yeah, Flareon's gonna go down. I mean, yeah, it's just not hitting itself. Like there's nothing I can do, man. Yeah, there's, there's zero things I can do. Not even 10 minutes in and we lost. I guess we run it back for run number three. We could go with Turchwig again. Yes, yeah, screw it. We're just going to do that. I'm wearing a Ninja Turtle shirt right now, and I know that sounds kind of cringy, but it's actually pretty cool. It's Michelangelo's Pizzeria. Found it from like a thrift store. So uh, it's a pretty cool shirt. You know, say what you want to say about it, but... I like it, so we're just gonna call this thing Michael. I spelled that wrong. What am I doing? You put the name in all caps? Of course we did. It's it's not just Michael, it's Michael! Well, let's get the Forest Pass Encounter. First wild encounter of this run three, and it's a Sentret. We'll call you Scout in reference to the Sentret that I'm using over on the second channel, which by the way, if you're not subbed up to the second channel, what you doing? Get over there and do that. And now we will go into the Milkshake Swamp, get a Crow Gunk. Harold the Crow Gunk. What happened to the Nuzlocke? Uh huh. Yeah, what happened to the Nuzlocke? Guys, I I don't know what happened to the Nuzlocke. We totally didn't get sweeps in the last gym battle. No, that didn't happen. I might try to go for one more scratch. Hey, never mind. We got it. Yeah, Daniel, I think we'll call it Kip Mud from the last run why not oh i just remembered we gotta face that stupid bug catcher that has the pine code that always goes for self-destruct yep here he is self-destructing freaking pine co scout i'm sorry but i think you're gonna go down yeah i mean there's nothing you can do about that bro that is so stupid nah man i cannot be i cannot be losing more pokemon <laughs> uh, oh oh 
mean, do I should I even try anymore? Hey, the sub counter did go up. Oh boy, so we gotta spin this wheel. Yay. All right, give me one second. We will deposit Crow Gunk and Sentry. I'm sure I'll probably have to kill off him on. And we have. Okay, for the next 20 minutes, if I take a crit, I must switch Pokemon. Not the worst one. All right, it's you, right, with the ditto. I say we keep the legend going of Flibber. All right, I'll put Michael up front, and let's do it. Oh, we got Peach. Gotta name it, Ash. All right. Hey, guys. Terraquake the Editor here. Apparently, I completely forgot about the whole critting and then having to switch out rule for the next 20 minutes. Because a lot of Pokemon crit me, and I just didn't switch out. But they were just in a couple of trainer battles and wild Pokemon battles. So they didn't really matter, as either way, I was going to win the fight. But if you still want to yell at me in the comments section, feel free to do so. Because it would help me out in the YouTube algorithm. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now we can go into the gym. But first, we're going to have to fight the Chell person. Sparky, that's right. I forgot your name for a second. Time to lose, boy. Alright, much shot. Much shot again. Much shot again. Much shot again. Much shot again. Oh! Okay, no, it's hidden power is like fighting, right? It's it's like fighting, I think. I got really scared when I see when I see hidden power, especially in a game like this, I feel like, you know, it's on there for a strategic reason. So I thought maybe it was like a grass type hidden power, but I forgot from the first two runs we learned that it's I think fighting or bug. Oh yeah, you can get Leaf Blade here. I remember that. And then I know there was like the girl, it was like a little side quest or something. A wish ticket. Ooh, could that be used to go somewhere? Hey, let's go. We can go to a new area. Okay. So we have a wish ticket and we are now on Wish Island. No shot. You can just run into a Jirachi? When did humans discover my secret island? I guess only showing up once a millennia has its downsides. Hey, wait a sec. Put those Pokeballs down. Oh my gosh, you got the confusion. Great, so we're not even gonna paralyze. Yep. All right, now we're gonna go for a Razor Leaf. Ooh! Oh, I'm out of healing items. Oh, I might just have to run. Screw that, dude. This is the Springside Path. Let's see what we have. Maybe it'll be the return of Star. No, it's a Zora. Yo! And it's already level 18. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, the, you know, sneaky little fox dude from Dora. Forlorn Cape Encounter? What are you gonna give me this time? Let's see. We've got a Larvitar. Okay, so I think that's like the only non-dragon type here, but I will take it. Larvitar, Larvitar, Larvitar. We'll call you Scotty. And let's get the encounter for Haunted Isle. Maybe something better than a Spinda this time? Oh, that's not really better than a Spinda. <laughs> Wingle, we'll call you mine. That's usually what I call Wingles, you know. The good old seagulls from Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. And let's see what our haunted rock encounter is going to be. Hopefully another haunter. Ooh, it's a Misdreavus this time. Buster. I don't know. I was thinking of Ghostbusters. So, yeah. Buster sounds like a cool name. As I just said, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream there. However, I'm obviously going to need to do a lot of grinding. And I'll probably make some switches to the team. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And yeah, until next time. Deuces.